What's up guys? We're going to talk today about our new tool roll-up. You guys have asked for years for us to build these and I've always said we've got the tool bag, we've got the large tool bag if you need to hoard more tools, we've got the tool pods to organize your tools inside of the tool bags and the large tool bag. A lot of guys also use our toiletry bags for uh, the same type of deal. Well this weekend I sat down and I did some tool roll-ups. We'll probably do several of these in the line to start with it's 24 by 8 inches. This is the first one in our line of tool roll-ups. We've given you three pockets that are 12 inches by 8 inches. So all said, all three pockets are the same for a total of 24 inches, three pockets. We've got Velcro patches on here so you can apply patches or you can put opposing Velcro and write on there, for instance, sockets, screwdrivers, first aid, whatever you want to put on there, just put the opposing Velcro and then write on the back of it. Or if you have dedicated name tapes made for the items that are in there, you can just affix those. Roll this little guy up, boom, 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 boom. Nice and tight. Clip in, clip, clip. You can roll them up super small, super compact. So you could have three things in, three different items in one pouch, three in another, three in another. Set those suckers right in there. They can roll up obviously bigger depending on the size of items and the type of use that you have for those. Roll up two of them, disperse weight evenly inside of a pack or pack them where you want them to be. Roll them up tight, they can go in a center console, glove box, whatever you have for your application. So another patch of Velcro on the front so that you can say for instance first aid, tools, however you want to label so right from the outside you know which one's which. We gave you extra long straps, they come undone clip right back into themselves. So for instance, you could hang them on the side of a push bar uh, or a grill guard on a truck on the side of a bed rack. You could attach them to the roll bars on your side-by-side -side handlebars of your motorcycle, or you could use the same clips. Once you roll these up, for instance, roll them up nice and tight, and then clip them right around the bars on your motorcycle or your mountain bike, and just affix them right in place or onto uh, the side of a bar on the side of the razor, for instance. Lots of different uses for these. Obviously, tools are the first use. They're gonna be perfect for dirt bikes and small repairs on trucks and stuff in that they're going to carry a few screwdrivers. They're gonna carry your 3 8 inch drive and a quarter inch drive, eight millimeter, 10, 12, 14 millimeter, the common bolts that are gonna go on most of your Japanese type dirt bikes. Um, same with your mountain bikes. They will carry your tools if you want to carry extra stuff from what you have in your fanny pack, in your fanny, your tail bag on your seat, um, or in your camelback, you want a little bit of additional stuff. You can clip these on the frame someplace and have extra stuff. You can throw a tube, some levers, a uh, pump if you're not using the CO2 pumps, or if you're just worried you, you just want to carry a couple CO2s with you and then carry a backup pump as well, a manual pump. It would work great for that. Other uses. Battery chargers, download cables. When we travel, I've got all my G7X Mark II batteries and extra chargers. I've got a bank of GoPro batteries, cables for wall, cable, uh, extra bank for extra batteries. And then as well for cell phones and data transfer from any video from the phone to the computer, any video from the uh, camera banks and the SD cards into the computer as well. So tech support, first aid, medical. I asked Amanda what she thought she would use this for, and she said traveling on the weekends, it would be great to use for makeup. She said obviously she wouldn't use all of these brushes, but depending what she's doing, she has all of this different stuff with her. Compacts, brushes, mascara. I'm not even sure what some of this stuff is, but um, she's really good at applying this, as I'm sure your women are as well. So, buy one for your woman in the color she likes. Buy two for yourself because you bought one for her. Makes it okay for you to have one because you were gonna buy one anyways. But if you get her one, it's now okay for you to buy three.
I had so many good things, I can't remember. Real short knives if you're a chef that only works on small fruit. Child chef with only plastic. It'd be a great picnic kit. You could carry all your plastic forks, spoons, and knives. This would be great for all your sex lubes, butt plugs in one, uh, pocket vibrators in another, and small tubes of travel lube. You might not be aware, but Walmart has lots of sex toys and things that could be used as sex toys. The Amish store, the Amish country store does not sell sex toys, but they have a lot of things that the Amish are using as sex toys. That's a weird looking vagina. Wait a minute, that's balls in a dick. Balls. Everything on Gabby's porn page balls. is Josh's fucking butthole. Randall's always like, turn on more light. You don't look hot enough. Turn off the air. You know, the thing. Like a rig? A rig. I like a GoPro rig, and I like to have a GoPro on the top of my GoPro rig, and I like to have it so I can do that thing Brandle does. I like to just spin my GoPro, but I like to hold my GoPro, but I like to have my other GoPro just go around in circles around my GoPro. I got my possum. So I got my possum shampoo, and my possum conditioner, for my possum. Used to be two of us living the dream. Now I gotta live the whole dream by myself. Blah ya! Blah Did you record that? That's yeah. my one take, motherfucker. That's it. We're done.